Good morning, my students, and welcome back to your English class, the class of teacher Jacob. Now, first of all, let me tell you that I am very happy that you are back with me. I hope that you have enjoyed your period of vacation, but unfortunately, that happened. So, today, let's concentrate and let's get full of energy so we can start working once again okay very good now first of all we are going to have a review of some of the words that we have seen in the past okay now these words appear right here on the whiteboard and these words once again they are part of the activities of today now some of these words are very easy okay because we already saw them, la mayoría de estas palabras ya las vimos en el pasado, so most of you, you already know, but remember it's very important that we practice them so you never forget them, okay? Es muy importante repasarlas para que no se les olvide. So let's begin. The first word that we have on the whiteboard, it says big. Now remember, whenever we mention big, we can mention the the size of a person or the size of an object. For example, objects that are big, we have a whale. Do you remember the whale? It's an animal of the sea. And whales are very big, okay? And other object that is big that you remember, okay? Okay, very, okay, very good. Trees are also very big. Excellent. Let's continue with the second word. For the second word, we have small, which is the opposite of big. We have big, and of course, the small is the, the opposite. Now, objects that are small, in the case of animals, remember the whale is big, so an animal that is small, we have an ant. Now, ant, it's an insect, and like the insects, most of the insects, la mayoría de los insectos, are very, very small, okay? Very good. Uh, again, another example, drops of water, okay? Or tears, lágrimas, o gotas de agua, gotas de lluvia, those are very, very small. Excellent. Let's continue with the third one. For number three, we have the cube. Now, Q, it's a geometric shape that we are going to see in the future, okay? Now, do you remember the most common geometric shapes are the triangle, the circle, the square, the oval, the star, okay? Esas son figuras geométricas muy comunes. But in the future, in our class, en el futuro, en la clase de Teacher Jacob, vamos a ver otro tipo de formas in this case. For example, like the cube, like the cylinder, those forms have a three-dimensional form. Tiene una forma tridimensional que estaremos viendo en el futuro. Pero por el momento, I'm going to give you a taste of it. Les vamos a dar una muestra de esto, como lo que es el cubo, or in English, remember, the cube. Okay? Now, number four, we have a mat. Now, remember, the mat, it's an object that we put in front of our house. So we put it in front because when we are on the street, cuando estamos en la calle, all of our shoes, nuestros zapatos are dirty. So in order to enter a clean house, in, uh, con el fin de entrar a nuestra casa que está limpia, we put in the front a mat, ponemos en el piso, en frente de la casa, un tapete, so we can clean our shoes, okay, and then we can enter the house, so, so remember, the word mat in Spanish means tapete, and we have an example right here, now this mat, most of the mats have the word welcome, write it on it, okay, la mayoría de los tapetes tienen la palabra welcome, Que quiere decir bienvenido, en este caso bienvenido a nuestro hogar. So, in this case, my mat that says welcome is painted with color yellow. Let's continue with the fifth word. For number five, 
we have the word pencil. Now this is very easy because it's an object that we use to do the activities of the class, okay? Now the pencil, remember characteristic, it's a very large object, okay? We call, uh, that is painted with color yellow and has a small eraser, una gomita, has a small eraser color pink, okay? In Spanish, don't forget that it's called lapis. With the teacher Jacob, it's a pencil. Very good. Let's continue with the sixth word. The word number six, it says nest. Now I'm gonna tell you something about the nest characteristics. The nest is an object in which all of the birds, remember what is a bird, pájaros, all of the birds, whenever they lay down eggs, cada vez que ponen huevos, they put them in a nest, okay? And why do they put them in a nest? So, they, so the eggs can keep them warm para mantenerlos cálidos o tibios, okay? So the egg doesn't get cold para que no se enfríe, por eso los ponen in this, in this nest so they can keep all of the eggs warm para mantenerlos cálidos, okay? And the nest, it's an object that is colored brown. In Spanish, you know it as nido, but don't forget that the teacher Jacob is called nest. Let's continue with the number seven. The number seven, it's a measure. It's una medición. It's long. Remember, we have two types of measures. Long and short. Okay? Once again, we have long and we, sh we have short. Now, these two measures can be in vertical form, pueden ser en forma vertical or horizontal form. Okay? Now, for example, the building, a building, un edificio, buildings, are they short or long? They are very, very long, okay? Very good. Now, for example, a bridge, the bridge, un puente, bridges, are they long or short? They are very, very long, okay? Excellent. Now, let's continue with the positive of long, short, okay? Let's see. Um, the ruler. The ruler that you have in your house, the one that is made of plastic, is it long or short? It's short, okay? Another object, for example, your crayons or my marker that I have right here, is it long? No, it isn't. It's short. So don't forget that they are two type of measures. Let's continue with the number nine. We have the bench. Now, the bench, it's an object that we use to sit down. But don't get confused. It's not a chair. Remember, the chair, it's shorter. It's más corta. The bench is larger, okay? So you can uh, put up to two or three people on a bench. Podemos poner dos o tres personas en una banca because it's larger. So bench, it's in Spanish, is called banca, and it's color brown. Most of them, la mayoría, most of them are color brown, and they are located in parks. Están localizadas, o las podemos encontrar comúnmente on parks, en parques, okay? Very good. Let's continue with the number 10. Now, the number 10, it's something that is a door, by the squirrels, okay? All of the squirrels that we can locate it on zoos or parks, they love the squirrels. They love the nuts, I'm sorry, okay? Now, a squirrel, it's an animal that has a big tail. In Spanish, you know it as ardillas. And squirrels, they love the nuts, okay? Se vuelven locas por las nueces. Very good. Let's continue with the number 11. Now, the number 11, it says skirt. Now, the skirt, it's part of the cloth, it's parte de la ropa, and it's only wear by women, by all of the girls, the 
skirts are only for girls, not for boys. And the, the skirt is part right here. It's the bottom part of the cloth. In Spanish, you know it as falda. Okay, very good. And finally, we have the ruler. Now, the ruler, like I mentioned previously, it's a uh, an object made of plastic that you use to measure objects, ok? Es un objeto de plástico que lo usamos para medir cualquier tipo de, de objetos. Very good. So that's it for today. Don't forget that these words are part of your activities. So you have to copy them. Don't forget letter by letter. In, in some cases, there are uh, words, there are letters that require two squares. Hay letras que requieren dos cuadrados, so you have to copy them properly, so you don't have any mistakes, okay? Very good. That's it for today, my children. Once again, welcome back to your classes. I hope that you have an excellent day. Take care. Don't forget the teacher, Jacob, loves you very much. Goodbye.